Game day, Citrus Bowl, Kentucky, Penn State. Really pumped up today. Last time I'm going to get to see Kentucky play this last regular season. I love this team with all my heart. They've literally changed our program from what we used to a couple years ago. We had two, two and ten seasons back to back. And now to be on the verge of being able to keep, compete with anyone in the country feels great. We get Penn State today for the Citrus Bowl. It's going to be fun. Um, it's the last time Josh Allen, Benny Snell, Derek Beatty, half these seniors get to put on their uniforms. And they've just changed our program. And hopefully for the futures to come, it gets even better. But these guys, really, I'm really thankful for. And I love these guys with all my heart. And I'd do anything for them. So let's go beat Penn State and uh, go Cats. Good start there by the Wildcats. We forced a three and out. Looking good in our chrome helmets. Penn State's got a punt now. Oh, it's a fake! Oh, it's a fake! Did he get it? It doesn't look like he did! Chris Westry with the play! And Kentucky gets the ball at the 33! And the Cats take over! You tell Mark Stoops! Let's go, baby! James Franklin, Penn, Co or Penn State's coach, idiotic, cocky, not respecting the Kentucky football brand! Get out of here, James Franklin! You're overrated! Let's go, Kentucky! Let's go, baby! Let's go! First play on offense. Let's see what we can do here. Benny needs 107 to break the record today. Hits the hole. There goes Benny. Benny's across the first down line. Jukes back left. And he picks up about a 15-yard carry for Benny Snell Jr. And Kentucky is coming out firing on all cylinders. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Kentucky coming out for a field goal. Penn State stopped us. But it's good that we uh, can get an early lead here to get the game going. Here we go. Butler comes up for the kick right down the pipe. And Kentucky goes up 3-0 to start the game. Decent drive. Boo! James Franklin, you cocky, arrogant man. Get out of here. Big time third down for Kentucky. Let's see if they can get a big time stop here. Third and 10. Penn State's got the ball at the 31. McSorley in shotgun. Sanders to his left. Draws back. Looks to his right. They got the first, but he came back to it. Looks like he's going to be short. Let's see where they spot him. He is a yard short. Penn State looks like they're going to have to kick a field goal. And the Kentucky defense stands strong. Let's go. Unless they go for it. Could be interesting here. Would not shock me when James Franklin, how arrogant he is. But let's see what he does. Penn State kept the drive alive. Another big third down here. Let's see if the catch can stop him. Josh Allen comes out like a bull in a china shop. And gets his first sack of the game. Josh Allen, National Defensive Player of the Year. With a big time sack to hold Penn State to a field goal. Let's go, Josh. Look at him. Like a bull in a china shop. Comes rushing through. No one touches him. Big time sack for the best defensive player in the country. Let's go, baby. Here we go. Penn State's got a freshman kicker. Hopefully he shanks it. Puts it up. Oh, that looks to be wide right, but curls last second. Did he miss it? No good. He's missed it. He's missed it. Penn State doesn't capitalize. And Kentucky gets the ball back, holding Penn State to zero points. Let's go. Big time third down again. Penn State still hasn't converted a third down of the game. This is where Kentucky keeps bending and not breaking. Let's see. Cash Allen shoots through the hole. Could it be a safety? Oh, he jumps back out last second. But Cash Daniels comes through the middle of the line and makes a big time play for the Cats and forces a Penn State punt. Cash Daniels, baby. Let's see if Kentucky can block the kick here. No, they didn't even try to blitz. All right, who's back there to return it? Bouvier or Bowden? That looks to be Bowden. Let's see if Lynn can take it. Lynn's got a hole. There he goes. Stumbles a little bit. He's got a hole. Oh, take it. House. 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 Take it to the house. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Lynn Bowden is in for six. And the Cats take a 9 nothing lead and about to be 10. Lynn Bowden says, I will take that to the house. Thank you very much. Boo. You're arrogant, Franklin. You're arrogant. Get out of here. Let's go, BBN. Let's go. Second and 10. They do a handoff up the middle. Cash Daniels shoots through the hole and gets a big time tackle for loss there by Cash. Brings up a big third down for Penn State. Good good play by Cash there, though. Let's see. Penn State's going to try to tie it up before going into half. It's not been a great performance by Kentucky overall, but the defense has really kept us in it. Let's hope he misses, but 36 should be a chip shot for him. Good snap. Good hold. Oh! That looks like that might have been blocked because that was a terrible kick. Yeah, let's go. Boo! Franklin, horrible. 
Franklin's horrible. Let's go. They're showing Josh Allen. Maybe Josh Allen got a hand on it. If he did, oh my gosh. I, I mean, I'm just happy he missed. But Josh Allen is the greatest defensive player in the country. I don't care what you say. He is the best player in the country on defense. Maybe even overall. Josh Allen did get a hand on it. <laughs> he does everything. He does absolutely everything. Oh my gosh. This is why he will be a top 10. No, not 10. Top 5 pick in the draft. Maybe top 3 pick in the draft. Josh Allen, you are a beauty. Unbelievable, man. You're so good. All right. 10-7 cats uh, at halftime. Offense really wasn't moving the ball well. Um... We didn't even get over 100 yards. Matt had 82, 83. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. The defense really uh, kept bending, not breaking, though. That's what we needed in the defense. Josh Allen played well. Everyone on the defense played well. Um, happy to see us get the lead. We get ball starts second half. We need to go down, shove it down Penn State's throat, get Benny, just get him in a groove, and go take a lead and end up winning this game. All right, go guys. Oh, yeah, Josh, what a beast. Hopefully a big second half here. Let's see how Kentucky uh, starts off the second half. They're going to run it to Benny. Benny's found a hold on his left side. Benny's got a first down. Benny's got some more. Breaks one tackle. Hurdles one, makes one miss. And Benny's out across around the 35-yard line. Good start there by Benny and the Wildcats. And let's hope they can keep this pace up the whole second half. That'll boy, Benny. Third and goal, they give it to Benny. Benny bounces to his left. And Benny looks like he's hit and he is. Touchdown. Wildcats to start the second half. Benny Snell Jr. in for six. And the Cats could take a 10-point lead here. Benny took him down the field. Benny ends the drive. Touchdown, Wildcats. Penn State still hasn't picked up a third down. They're 0 for 8. Kentucky's trying to force him off the field. Let's see. Cats are up two possessions. Penn State needs this desperately. They got the backup quarterback in. He's in shotgun. He's got Sanders to his left. Let's see the snap it. Takes, oh, Kentucky brings some pressure. And it looks like number 90, TJ Carter. Backup D lineman comes in and makes a big time play and a big time sack. And Josh Allen with the excitement knocked the wind out of TJ. But great sack there. And the Cats are going to get the ball back. First and 10, ball to 41. Fake hand off to Benny. They get a screen to Lynn. Lynn's got a block. Lynn's stiff arm to the face mask. Lynn's across the 25. Knocked out of bounds. That's got to be unnecessary roughness. That is horrible. And there's a flag. And that's going to add 15 yards to the end of the play by a cheap shot by Penn State. Added on. Kentucky gets the ball at the 11-yard line. Let's see what they can do. Dirty play by Penn State. Uncalled for. Kentucky's going to have to call for a field goal, but this can put him up 13. Miles Butler, the seniors out to kick, puts it up, up through the uprights. Kentucky by 13 with 3.48 left to go in the third quarter. Here we go, first and 10. Trace McSorley checked back into the game. He's playing through a right leg injury. Kentucky's defense needs to stop here if we can get it. We can really, who knows what they can do. McSorley in shotgun, looks. Oh, he's got a hole, he's got to take it. Throws off his back foot. Picked off by Lonnie Johnson. And Lonnie Johnson Jr. is taking it back. He's across the 20. The 30. 35 gets knocked out by his teammate Mike Edwards. But Lonnie Johnson with a big time interception. And the Cats are going to get the ball back. Because a good defensive play by Lonnie. Let's go. Betty Snell just needs five yards to break it for the Kentucky school record. I think he'll get it this possession. First play, though, we're going to get a quick screen. Could have been picked, but it's not. Lynn Bowden, he takes it across midfield. He's got some blocks. 48 for Penn State's flying on the field. But Lynn Bowden gets knocked out around the 10-yard line. Could be unnecessary roughness. They don't call it. Penn State's been doing that all game. And Lynn Bowden with a big-time play to put Kentucky in the red zone. Big play there by Lynn. Look at this. Could have been picked off there. Lynn wanted it more. Got to the ball first. Just starts trekking his way down the field. Lead blocker, Betty Snell, does it everything. Lynn Bowden was out of bounds for a couple of steps, then got hit. Could have been non-necessary roughness. See if Betty can break the record or if they're going to pass. Let's see what they do here. Terry's in shotgun. He's got Benny behind him. They give it to Betty. Betty's got a hole. Betty's going to score. And Betty's going to break the Kentucky school record for most rushing yards in a career. No one deserves it more. What a career Benny Snell Jr. has had. Big time play. 
Cats could go up by 20 if they make the PAT. Benny Snell Jr. What a player. Any NFL team would be lucky to have him. School record, Benny Snell Jr. What a, what a career. And he was only a junior. Could have came back for one more year. Snell, yeah, baby. Oh, I love it. Congrats to Benny. Congrats. People say Kentucky basketball, that's all we care about. Yeah, have a look at that. A sea of blue. We had more, more fans there than Penn State. More fans there than a football school in Penn State. But we only care about basketball. Okay. Prove the haters wrong. All we got to do is just punt it off. Don't do anything stupid. And we could have a chance to win it right here if the clock runs out. But we'll see if it's enough time. Just get a good snap. All right. Yep. Get it off. All right. That looks good. Oh, big hit. Big hit from Johnson. Talk a little trash, too. I like it. We did leave a second left on the clock, so defense is going to have to make one more play. So let's go. Last play of the year. Just leave it all in the field. Try to be the first team to ever get 10 wins since 1977. Do a little flip. It's not there. Christopher Oates lands on it. And Kentucky beats Penn State and are the Citrus Bowl champs. The Kentucky Wildcats upset Penn State and have their first 10 win season since 1977 and the cats what a year what a year by the wildcats great way to end it off 10 and 3 season fantastic year this team will never ever ever be forgotten what a team this was wow the cats have done it they win the citrus bowl this team will never ever ever be forgotten in Kentucky legacy. Benny Snell Jr. breaks the record. Josh Allen gets three sacks, plays through a sprained finger. Talk about a guy with heart and dedication to the program. He's a top five pick, but he wanted to leave everything out on the field. Just like, I mean, because he loves the school so much. You look at the Boza guy, supposedly like number one pick in the draft. He quit again. He quit on Ohio State midway through the years. It's guys at big programs that, you know, they, they care about themselves more than the team. And I understand if Josh didn't play. Look, I mean, he has a kid. He's got to focus on his, you know, his life. But he put everything on the line for Kentucky. And it just means more at Kentucky. It's a big win for us. Like, first time we've got 10 wins since 1977. I'm so proud of this football team. And I, mm, this team has meant a lot to me. Benny with the great, all the seniors. It's a good way to go out. They deserve this. So happy the Cats did it. What a way to end the year. 10-3. and three. Now on to next year. This is going to help in recruiting, and who knows where this can go. This team is a very, very good team, and I'm just proud of them all around. So if you like this video, Mac on Sports, like, subscribe. Fort video coming out very soon. Good to see you guys as always. Peace out.